The situations in which we find almost daily enjoins on us to achieve large amounts of social interaction with others. They make the most important aspect of our lives. Since we are all so different on different grounds, there is an incredibly wide range of unwritten social rules and norms which consciously or unconsciously all of us reserve so that we achieve the positive outcomes of these interactions. If we do not adhere to these sometimes awkward norms, we can do irreparable damage to our reputation with other people. We can also deteriorate future relations with the people that we have not even met. Therefore the best other option is to use the small psychological tricks to cause as much reaction from our interlocutors. Of course as long as it belongs to conscientious aiding. As well until we do not try to misuse that knowledge. We shall list some of the most useful advice which are not difficult to comply with. They will certainly improve the chances for positive outcomes in communication. 1. Getting to know. When we are meeting new people our behavior will largely affect the general impression that they acquire about us. The natural instincts of the brain in such situations are trying to protect us from showing weakness in front of strangers. But usually in such situations we feel quite tight. Therefore it is important to relax and take in communicating with confidence. In this way we are forcing the brain to observe the person we meet as someone known from earlier. With this simple trick to the person we are getting to know we will act more appealing and interesting. Also try to express your interest. This way you will enter into a lively correspondence since this will encourage interlocutors to subconsciously become more excited and to pay more attention to you. If you're trying to connect with a group of people who are in the middle of a conversation watch their body language. You will know at what point you can join them. Observe the legs of presence. If they turn open towards you then you are ready to engage in a conversation. While simple rotation of the upper body means that they are more directed towards their current interlocutor. They do not want to finish the conversation. Another little trick is that if you have a problem with the nervousness chew the gum until the moment just before the communication. Your brain will assume that you are eating. Which reduces the natural feeling of fear and prudence. So you will feel more relaxed. 2. The communication. During the direct talks a firm position often means more than pure knowledge. You do not have too much time to burden yourself about. How much you are an expert to talk about a topic that interests you. Especially during an interview for a job. More important is that you look directly into the eyes of your interlocutors. Every time you speak with confidence and show your interest in the subject. Rarely will be expected from you that you already know everything in advance. Some things you can act out. That will also indicate you to feel more confident about your abilities. During the interview avoid using words like I think. I believe because they are too neutral. They do not inspire confidence easily. Replace them with some words that will sound as if your attitudes are hard and that what you speak is a fact. Also you will have a positive impact on people. If you validate their opinions using their style of speech. Reformulation of their previously mentioned opinions and attitudes. Try to involve in conversation many factors that cause positive emotions among respondents. That can be witty intriguing and delightful anecdotes related to the topic. Even though the connection was only tangential. Pay attention to the rhythm of your speech. Take breaks in the right places when there is something you want to emphasize. Enrich the conversation with details in order to listener could easily imagine them. 3. Services. There are a few tricks that you can use if you need someone to help you. Also if you want to get the service of the interlocutors. First of all be direct and say openly that you need their help. Communication partners will rarely refuse. A direct request for assistance if it is something they can do. They will feel greater satisfaction to help. If you are not convinced that people will want to help you with anything less. You can try to request them much greater service previously. They will almost certainly reject it. After the rejection you can look for a service that you originally wanted. In doing so try to show your requirements as optional choices. Not as an ultimatum because you will reduce. The weight of requirement in the subconscious of an interlocutor. 
questions should be formulated so that the only way to refuse you must be a direct negative answer since in fact people do not like to refuse things directly it is worth mentioning that these tips are the things that should be turned in all of your communications in a moderate way so that they become a part of your natural communication without trying to manipulate the people with your psychological tricks and to abuse the goodwill of others all these conversational hacks should be used in order to get closer to people and to make them like you.